A slow cupped pulled lamb shoulder, take one joint of lamb shoulder. Mine's got the bone in, but it doesn't really matter if it doesn't, it still follows the same cooking process. Season the lamb quite generously all over with salt and pepper and set to one side. And then take one large or two small brown onions and cut them into quarters and remove the skins. Then cut one whole bulb of garlic in half and place them into the bottom of a casserole dish or a cast iron pot or any other deep pot you've got that can go in the oven. And then add in a few sprigs of thyme. Pour in 100 millilitres of water, that's just going to help it stop drying out when it's in the oven. And then place the lamb on top of the veg. You can add more herbs on top if you like. Place a lid on or if your pot doesn't have a lid, just cover it with a couple of layers of tin foil. And place it in a preheated oven at 220 degrees Celsius fan for 30 minutes. After half an hour we need to turn the temperature down to 150 degrees Celsius and cook that undisturbed for another three and a half hours. After four hours of total cooking time your lamb will be perfectly cooked. So take it from the oven and leave it to rest for a further 20 minutes. Next place your lamb onto a large plate or a tray and then just remove the meat from the bone and you'll see how easily it just pulls apart. Remove any bits that you don't want to eat, such as maybe the skin and the bone, and then ladle over some of the cooking liquid because that's got all of that beautiful flavor. It's got the garlic, the onion, the thyme, and it's gonna taste absolutely beautiful. So ladle it over and then just mix it through.